Not every as-seen-on-TV product is a waste of money, but how would you really know unless you try them? Or better yet, we try them for you. Today we'll be taking a look at gadgets designed to assist you around the house and find out if esteemed tech reviewer Vigo the Carpathian approves. Here's the Hurricane Spin Duster, a statically charged spinning brush that makes dusting an ease while preventing a torrential downpour of dust onto your floors below. Checking out the contents of the box, we're met with a set of instructions which we'll get to in a second. Here's the powerful base unit, ah, a couple of different sized brushes to tackle a variety of tasks, and my favorite, a magic wand that doubles as an extension arm as well, Expelliarmus. Assembling the device is quick and easy as the parts simply click right into place. Just put the blue tip of your magic wand into the end of the handle. After that, just press the brush into the end of the stick until you hear a click. As soon as you throw in batteries, you're ready to fire it up and get your Alfred Pennyworth on. For this first test, we decided to have a go at those dusty blinds in the living room. When the spin duster went into action, it took care of the surface debris without any real effort on our part. It's actually quite adept at getting in between the blinds and cleaning both sides without any risk of damaging the slats. And although nothing really beats a little soap and water for those caked on stains, the hurricane seems to be a force of nature when removing dust. But what about that claim of attracting that dust to the brush with static electricity? As you can clearly see, although the spin duster does spin and does dust, keeping that dust contained is a whole other story. That being said, the Hurricane Duster has been shown as a perfect device for cleaning glasses and vases. So with bated breath, we decided it might be an appropriate time to dust the jib of our favorite Carpathian prince, Vigo. Generally, paintings of supernatural Carpathian warlords repel dust in most women, but this modern-day Mona Lisa could still use a touch-up. Truth be told, when we gave Prince Vigo a nice brushing, the only thing we noticed is that his face got redder, and it seemed as though he was going to fill the city sewers up with ectoplasm. It goes without saying that we had to end this test and find out who we're going to call. Now you might be wondering if you can make your own version at home. We used a Swiffer brush and a trusty impact driver. After flawlessly disassembling the Swiffer brush, we were able to simply slide it over an adapter that was placed into the driver. Of course, adding a little duct tape for extra security is always a good idea. To show this thing in action, here's our Upper Deck 1994 mint condition Dusty Donald Royal here to blaze it straight down the lane. Ooh, sorry Donnie, you've been traded. If you don't want to make your own, the Hurricane Spin Brush can probably take care of most of your dusting woes. That being said, because of its propensity to actually shoot dust all around the room, you might want to do a little vacuuming afterwards. Next up, we've got the Lizard Cam. It's a lit, waterproof camera on the end of a four-foot cord that you can use to inspect your plumbing, in addition to household things like pipes, sinks, toilets, and a whole lot more. After removing the contents from the box, you should have three attachments, a hook, a magnet, and a mirror, as well as the Lizard Cam itself. Wound up at the side, there's a camera with an LED light and attached to the other end of that cord is a handheld display boasting every bit of HD video that you'd expect from a $45 plastic device. The Lizard Cam streams real-time video from the camera to its dazzling 2.4-inch display to help you find anything from long-lost jewelry to heirloom hairballs. After mistakenly dropping this ring down the drain, we snapped the hook attachment onto the cord and sent this thing down into the depths. Locating your fallen jewelry is no problem when you've got 22 pixels of HD clarity in your hands, and using the hook to fish this ring out was pretty simple. The Lizard Cam is a most inconspicuous spying device and the perfect way to peer through a keyhole just to make sure your housemates are still alive and breathing. You know, a courtesy check. But you never know what kind of surprises lurk on the other end. Oh boy. Okay, time to go. But what about a wellness check on your elderly neighbor? Well, just send the spy at the lizard cam right down the mail slot just to make sure they haven't been purged. Nope, looks like everything's fine here. Nothing creepy at all. Everything said and done, the lizard cam is actually pretty cool for what it is, and it seems to have a myriad of uses for your home, garage, or car projects. Now granted, the price tag is a little steep, but if it allows you to fix an expensive problem on your own, then it's probably worth it. The Robo Twist is an electric jar opener that provides one-touch access to your jarred delights, all without troubling your silky smooth palms. But is the $19 Robo Twist the future of jar enforcement? Let's find out. Slicing this bad boy open, we're presented with the Robo Twist itself and a set of hefty instructions. But this thing seems pretty straightforward, so let's dive right in and see what we've got here. Glancing at the top, there's a battery compartment on the end, a single power button with an N on it, and a couple warning stickers about touching the parts while it's in use. Taking a peek at the undercarriage of the bot, you'll see where the motor will turn the gear. 
twisting the mechanism and activating that G.I. Joe Kung Fu grip. When the Robo Twist caresses down upon a jar, that's when you'll find its true value. Able to open anything from 1.2 inches in diameter all the way up to 3.5 inches, it can be applied to mostly anything you've got on hand. Testing it out on an olive jar proved to be light work for the burly robot, but what if we really twist it on there? Utilizing some channel locks, we put an iron grip on this jar of pickled jalapenos. But even then, the Robo Twist prevailed, proving that our feeble human tools will not stand up against its awesome power. Truthfully, this thing really did a number on just about everything we threw at it, whether it was something as small and rigid as a plastic portable barbecue sauce container or something as resilient as a mason jar. One of the only problems we had with the Robo Twist is that we had hoped it had the ability to tighten tops back on as well. Oh, and there is this one thing. Uh, due to the fact that we didn't really study the instruction manual, well, if you take a close look, you'll see that it specifically notes that this is not intended to be used on plastic jars. When the outer arms grip the exterior of the more pliable plastic bottle, the device didn't sense the resistance and continued to close. This, of course, snapped off one of the arms in the process. So in quick summary, the Robo Twist is a surprisingly useful device to have around, provided you take a moment to read the directions and use it for its intended purposes, but it's also a great tool for anyone that gets discomfort while opening stuck containers. Next one to hit the can is the Handy Can Opener Pro. Claiming to open all cans as easy as one, two, three. This thing cuts right beneath the lid of any size can and has a powerful magnet, which secures the lid so it doesn't fall onto the ground or into your lentils. After mangling the product wrapping to remove our opener, well, that's it. The can opener itself actually started ringing like a phone, so I answered it and had a great chat with Oblivion. It's got a power button on the top and a retractable blade, magnet, and gear on the bottom. There's also a compartment to put the batteries in, but those aren't included. To kick it off, we tried this guy on a delicious can of cold brew coffee. Just place the can opener over the top of the can and press the button. Uh, press the button. Hold on, what's the deal here? Luckily, we've got another can opener on hand to try, so let's give our trusty pal the Xylus a shot. Yep, not the straightest cut, but hey, it's 2018, no big deal. Okay, back to the featured product, the Handy Pro. We realize that the motor will not engage if the magnet isn't fully activated. Since the aluminum can didn't draw the magnet down, the motor didn't turn on. We fixed this with a simple hack, dropping a washer atop the magnet ring itself, which pulled it down and allowed the device to run as usual. With our magnet in tow, we grabbed a delicious can of our favorite Los Angeles sparkling water, LA Crocs. After firing it up one more time, the opener slit right through the can, making our empty soda a terrifyingly sharp aluminum container. That's success. Now everyone loves drinking broth from the can, but how do you get the can open? Simple, you put this thing on top and let it run its course. When it's completed its task, it'll give you a little twerk letting you know that it's finished. Now we could just sit here all day and show you how the Handy Can Opener Pro opens multiple cans, but what you really wanna know is how does it compare against its enemies? Welcome to the twice weekly regional can opener competition. Our eager contestants are the Candy O Pro, the Xylus Can Hammer 40K, and uh, me, the best wrist in the West. And they're off. Sporting its best Beyonce, Handy Cam O is out the gates with a shimmy and a shake, but Can Hammer's close behind on the turn. Looks like Dylan is having a little trouble getting into gear, but breaks out of the gate with a fury unmatched. Turning corner three now, the Xylus is taking notes and putting its posterior to use, but no, it's the Can O by a nose, and Dylan is disqualified for stopping at the end to assist other competitors. His wrist ain't what it used to be. All in all, the Handy Can Opener Pro is just what it says it is. Now you know how to make it work on any can, so we highly recommend it. It comes in pretty cheap, around 10 bucks, and is priced right there with all of its competitors. If opening cans is a pain for your wrist, or you just don't want to deal with it anymore, then give this thing a shot. Sealing up our video today is 5 Second Fix. Marketed as a liquid plastic welding compound, this thing looks like a flashlight pen from first glance, but don't be fooled by appearances. Bonding with just $3 out of your wallet, the 5 Second Fix is priced for the frugal consumer in mind, and we're excited to crack open the package to see what they've come up with. What we've got here is a lengthy instruction booklet with illustrations depicting parts of the pen and it looks like the entirety of the Magna Carta. The pen portion of the device is the holding chamber for the liquid plastic. There's a small tip to squeeze it from hidden under the removable cover. Keep track of that thing because leaks are bound to happen considering this product doesn't harden unless you cure it under UV light. Speaking of UV light, there's a small removable one on the other end of the pen and you aren't allowed to bring it anywhere near my bedroom. For our first demonstration, we snagged a pair of sunglasses we had hanging around that happened to be in dire need of attention. These glasses snapped off at the hinge, but even with a new screw in there, we're gonna need to fill that hole. 
Once filled up and in position, we shot the compound with the UV light for 30 seconds to ensure it had sufficiently hardened and checked out what kind of eyesore we created. Well, would you look at that? Good as new. Little bit of it's bubbled on the end, but we could, uh, never mind, the entire glob fell out. Maybe it'll work better on a different material. Over to this broken Halloween candy jar topper that's still in use. After lifting this shiny dome from its seat on the lid, we applied a generous amount of five second fix towards the outer edge of the brake. Then the skull was placed back on top of the lid and we reapplied a thin layer to cover the exterior of the brake. With a few seconds under the UV light, this dollar store decoration is ready for another decade of use. While attempting to bond these popsicle sticks, we came across the major weakness for this product. When you use it to seal things tightly, the UV light doesn't penetrate through to the interior gel. Effectively, this means the exterior solution becomes hardened, whereas the interior is still filled with liquid plastic that hasn't even reached its final form. With one last trick up our sleeve, we stood in our transmutation circle and attempted to resurrect the ghost of our fallen comrade, the Robo Twist. After filling the interior brake with liquid plastic, lighting it and reapplying to the exterior, we're sure that this thing will fire back up and become a permanent pantry partner for us. Opening our hand-tightened mason jar of spaghetti sauce was right back in the Robo's wheelhouse, and we're pretty happy with the results. However, our last test on this stabby jar of salsa proved just a bit too much for the Robo Twist, and he lost his arm again. Considering the fact that this product is in direct competition with some of the most useful products of all time, it's made some major claims and fallen short on a few of them. The only thing we can recommend the five second fix for is just that a fix for five seconds. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy our thorough reviews that are intended to save you money, then please subscribe so you can catch the next one. You can also click any of the objects on your screen right now to watch more videos just like this one so that you can find out if you should keep your money saved or spend it on something awesome. See you next time.